Hi everyone, it's Mr. Robs. And this is Mr. Song. In this example, we are going to integrate again. Hmm. When I look at 12x plus 10 cosine 3x squared plus 5x dx, my gosh, that is a lot of a lot of math to do. All right, but oh, I noticed something. I noticed the angle 3x squared plus 5x is similar to 12x plus 10. How is it similar there, Mr. Song? Uh, it's two times the derivative of 3x squared right. plus 5x. Right, it's not exactly there, but the derivative is inside that 12x plus 10. So let's take our inside function, which is 3x squared plus 5x, and make it u. So here's a u substitution technique. And we'll take the derivative of that. And we get our 6x plus 5. And we'll multiply both sides by dx. So du is 6x plus 5. Now that's not what we have in our equation. But it's really close. What could I do to the right-hand side to make it the same as what's in the equation? What could I do to that right-hand side? To the right-hand side? I think you can multiply by 2. Right. And if I do it to the right-hand side, I have to do it to the left-hand side as well. So let's multiply everything times 2. And I'll put 2 over here. Right. And so I can see that 2du is the 12x plus 10 dx. All right. So now I can do a direct substitution. That 12x plus 10 dx is the same as 2 du. So let's use a purple one here. Right. Purple's a good one. I like purple. Okay. Okay. And so I can change the 12x plus 10 dx into 2 du. I get the 2, yeah, 2. And the cosine, well, that is u, and then our du. And so now that looks more and more familiar. I always like to pull the constants out in front. And so my integral is as tidy as I can make it. And I can, nice and simple now. The integral of cosine u, well, if I look at my formula booklet, I know that it's just sine of u plus c. And the very last step with all u, uh, u substitution techniques is you plug the x's back. So you get 3x squared plus 5x plus c. And that is our u substitution.